is the Mustang Terminator Cobra. Is the Mustang Terminator Cobra the most iconic Mustang? Is it the Millennial Eleanor? Is it the last original muscle car Mustang? Ford says by 2032 that they plan to make the Mustang platform fully electric with plans of the first hybrid by 20. 26. It's a lot. There's a lot going on in Mustang land, Mustang world, Mustang week is over. Let's talk about all of it. Welp. She's being moody today, boys. It's because I've started her so many times. I've started her like five or six times just to do like little Instagram videos today. Like in the past hour. iconic Mustang. This is going to be very controversial. Those of you that follow me that love Terminator Cobras and you're just part of that little niche, you're probably going to say, yeah, maybe. Maybe it was the Eleanor car. Maybe it was the Terminator Cobra. Maybe it was the Fox body. Maybe it was the first Mustang ever made. Maybe it was the 2013 GT500. Maybe it's the new GT350. Everyone has a different opinion. Of course, I'm biased. I have another over Cobra. I always dreamed of having one as a kid. So I honestly think that uh, the Terminator Cobra was like the last true original muscle car. What I mean by that is after 2004, they went back to the retro body style. So 2005, 2006, 2007 was actually meant to sort of uh, emulate the older body style and kind of, you know, bring things back to the golden days. So the 0304 design, the engine, everything was kind of like the last sort of original Mustang muscle car. I don't necessarily consider the newer Mustangs muscle cars. They're more like uh, sports cars than muscle cars. and a half so that the gas is is burning just right the midnight feels burning boys so in my opinion the 304 cobra is like the last original mustang muscle car you could argue yes that the 25 the, the, the 2013 gt500 the 2005 gt500 the new gt500 but this was the last original body style before they went to the retro body style. Then after the retro body style, they went to a futuristic Euro body style. So this, to me, in my opinion, is like the last true raw Mustang muscle car. A lot of you guys are gonna disagree. And I welcome disagreements. I don't want everyone to just be like a Cobra cult and be like, yeah, you're right. The Cobra is the best. That's why I make some videos that are negative about Cobras and some of you guys get mad. Some of you guys agree with me. I love talking about how iconic it is and how awesome it is. I also like talking about the flaws that it has. Personally, I think it's like the greatest muscle car ever. That's why I got one. I was obsessed as a kid, but a lot of people disagree. The other thing, Eleanor, is this, is this the millennial Eleanor? Uh, I think it's going to turn into that. Honestly, it would be like a dream come true for me to make a, a movie or or make some sort of cinematic video that like really put the Cobra on the map for the future generation because like young kids these days, like 12 to 16 year old kids, they don't know what the Terminator Cobra is. And all they really know is the, the Hellcat and the S550 Mustang and the GT350, GT500. They don't know what this is. To them, it's like a relic of the past. It's an old car. It's an old car that's not really fast compared to the newer cars. There's another video that I've made is, 
is the Oath Reaver Cobra relevant anymore? Yes and no. Yes, it's relevant because it's a Terminator Cobra. Anyone that's super into Mustangs knows what it is. But if you're a 12 to 16 year old kid and you're watching TikTok videos, you're probably like, what is that? That's an old car. Uh, oh, my Hellcat can beat that or whatever it is. Like the newer generation doesn't really understand or care. And the generation after that, I'm kind of worried, is just gonna be into like electric cars. And they're just gonna be like, oh, gasoline cars are so slow. So it's kind of up to us, my, my brethren, to keep these type of platforms alive because the next generation, they're not gonna understand what we saw in cars like this. We're slowly a dying breed. And we, 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 gotta, we gotta keep this thing alive. So by 2026, Ford plans to go ahead and introduce supposedly the hybrid platform. So the 2024 Mustang is rumored to have something like 500 horsepower stock. And that's even after like going crazier on emissions because emissions are getting even crazier. We're going in, we're going into another one of those things like we did in the uh, in the uh, late 70s, I believe it was, where emissions have kind of gotten crazier. And so we, we got to do more emissions stuff, which means, you know, cars lose power. That's why I think in 2021, uh, the Mustang GT actually lost power. The 2019-2020 was faster, and then they took some power away because they had to go crazier on emissions. Somehow Ford has managed to make the Coyote motor put out supposedly 500 crank horsepower while increasing emissions in 2024, but then by 2026, they plan to have a Coyote 5.0 possibly with an electric motor in the in the back. So potentially a, uh, a Coyote motor in the front or a Coyote motor in the back and an electric motor. So a hybrid, a 2026 hybrid Mustang GT. And at that point, it's just gonna be like a futuristic sports car. To me, it's not really a muscle car anymore. It's not gonna be raw, like something like an old Terminator Cobra. It's something different. Things are changing. This is gonna be a relic of the past, but to me, at that point in 2026, when things are starting to become like hybrids, that's when I think the Cobra is kinda of gonna be like our, our new Eleanor. And of course, like the old 60s Mustangs are gonna be awesome forever. But this is like my Eleanor. I want to make this thing like it was kind of like my dream when I got the Cobra to, to like keep the Cobra platform alive because when I was a young teenager this was the car that inspired me and I wanted to make sure that I could use the car to inspire a bunch of other people and I never wanted to sell the car to get something newer and better this this to me was like the thing it was it was what I wanted it was not a stepping stone for a better Mustang it was the Mustang that I wanted Addressing a lot of questions that people have asked me and a lot of things that people have said in the past couple of videos, yes, Terminator Cobras are relics of the past. They are sort of, we're past that. We're much more technologically advanced. But no, they're not like, they're not, not cool anymore. They're really cool. But you don't even see them that much anymore. I didn't get to make it to Mustang Week this year, unfortunately. But from the videos that I saw, I was like, what was that? That was loud. It's like mostly S550s. You don't see these things anymore. They're getting wrecked. Um, people don't know what they are. They're not, the next generation's not buying them as much. So I really want to keep the Terminator Cobra platform alive. That's why I, you know, I continue to make videos and try to inspire those of you that still want these things to go out there and buy them to save money to get them, you know, to, to get a garage and have, keep them safe. All that kind of good stuff. I'm, I'm sorry this has kind of be, become somewhat of a ramble, but I just wanted to talk about how awesome Terminator Cobras are today. I make a lot of videos kind of playing devil's advocate, talking about some of the problems that they have. But I love my Terminator Cobra not because it makes a thousand horsepower with a hybrid Voodoo V8 or a Coyote motor with a hybrid system and all this other crazy stuff. It's just because of just how it feels. At a certain point, we're just gonna get to <laughs> we're just gonna get to a place where like modern day sports cars are so ridiculous that anything like older than like 2016 is just going to be super slow compared to these new hybrid cars and eventually like 2032 when the all-electric mustang comes out probably like the 2032 all-electric mustang is going to be it's going to be silly it's going to have something like 700 horsepower or something like that 
It's going to be all electric. It's not going to make any noise. It's, it's going to make 700 horsepower in 2032. It's going to outrun like any other Mustang ever. Even like you could have a you could have a Terminator Cobra that's like cammed and whippled and nitrous. Probably still going to get spanked by the 2032 Mustang GT. Fully electric, but like we don't really care about that. We just, we like this. I'm not even going fast or anything. I'm just entertained by the noise. My brothers, with politics changing, with the world changing, these are going to become relics of the past, so it's going to be up to people like me and you and, you know, just those of us that love these things to keep to keep the dream alive, <laughs> to keep people wanting things like Terminator Cobras and not just hybrid S650s as they were. With that, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment if you have any questions, or just want to say how you feel. How do you feel? You may agree with me on some of the things I said. You may think I'm, I'm a complete idiot. I'm just on my way to the gym and I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys tonight. And that's it. I'll see you guys next video. Much love. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please click that subscribe button. Bye-bye.